time for the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show brings you famous celebrities and amazing people from all over the world. Listen online at themikewagnershow.com and on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. And watch the interview on YouTube. So sit back and relax and enjoy the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the MikeWagnerShow.com. You can check our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on iTunes, Apple, Google Play, Radio Public, Anchor FM, and on YouTube. Where you can check out the Mike Wagner Show. Make sure you subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on YouTube. And take the Mike Wagner Show with you wherever you go on any mobile device. We're here with a wonderful woman from Las Vegas, Nevada. She is the author of Time Travel, and it's on Avid Second Chances uh, Bundle. It's now available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, and Smashwords. Self-published her first book. Enneagram in 2015, born and raised in the Philippines, and um, just coming out to um, make a living as well, too. She'll talk about the uh, couple of books and a um, little, little bit of need for time travel, you know, going from the Philippines to Las Vegas and everywhere in between. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, just stepping out of the time machine, it's Knock Doctor Who, live from Las Vegas, ladies and gentlemen, author of Time Travel. Roxanne San Jose. Roxanne, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Hi, Mike, and hi, everyone who's watching the show. The show. <laughs> well, of course, we're listening as well, too, but uh, watching the same, that's fine. I mean, you can just picture both. I mean, that's what time travel is all about. You're the author of Time Travel, which is part of the Avid Second Chance Bundle, now available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, and Smashwords. You also had a self-published first book, Anagram, in 2015. You were born and raised in the Philippines, and we'll talk about a couple of books as well, too. And um, first of all, before we get into all that, uh, tell us how I got started. Uh, basically, um, I authored two books. Uh, it's Anagram and Time Travel, and I just came to from the Philippines, and I love living here in the United States. People are very friendly and nice to me. Mm-hmm. And uh, and what was your inspiration from going to the Philippines to Las Vegas? Uh, when the economy was down from the Philippines, uh, my father decided that we move back here to have a better future. Oh, I see. Okay. Feel free to elaborate as well, too, since we're um, going to have a little coffee and everything else. And... Um, also, you know, with uh, being in Las Vegas as well, too. And um, what was the main reasons your uh, dad chose Las Vegas over cities like, say, New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, Dallas, or even Miami of places? Uh, he finished a degree in mechanics, so um, he moved here in Las Vegas because it, are, it works in casino slot machines. So due to his job as a mechanic, he, he was able to work in casinos. That's why he chose Las Vegas. Oh, nice. Okay. Do they have casinos in the Philippines also? Yes, we do. Nice. But I don't I, I don't pay them, but yes, we do. Oh, okay. I, I thought he was working on them and maybe just, um, you know, crank up the odds for you guys as well, too. And um, let's see if we put a penny and get him $10,000. And um, also, just a, <laughs> just a question as well, too. Um, do you think the odds were better on winning in the Philippines or were they better in Las Vegas, do you think? Uh, probably better in Las Vegas because there's a lot of uh, slot machines comparing to the Philippines, so Las Vegas, and higher prices as well. Higher prices, okay. And um, and, and how much gambling is allowed in the Philippines? Uh, uh, as much as you can, as long as you're like 18 above. 18 and above, okay. That's like the same thing in the United States as well, too. And, of course, um, if you're to buy uh, drinks, it'd be 21 and over, you know, cigarettes and whatever else. Well, cigarettes are 18, but I think um, with today's society, it's probably going up as well, too. Last was 40. Everybody's being carded, whatever. So, you know, you know we just have all that, too. And um, also, you also wrote a couple of books, uh, Anagram, about three countries fighting for an island. And uh, just uh, tell us a little bit about that. 
Oh, I, I self-published it in 2015 and I did a lot of marketing myself. So I it was a learnable experience. I learned a lot from that book. A lot of work since it's self-published, but like I said, I learned a lot. Mm, that's nice, too. Of course, uh, what are the three countries fighting for an island? Um, are they like the real countries or is it like uh, fictional countries? It's a real country turned into a fiction story like the Philippines, Vietnam, and China was, were fighting for Spatni Islands, and I turned that into a fiction story. They're like the same, but the ending is so different. Like because in the ending, in the in real life, uh, the Philippines won their case, but China is like not accepting about it. And but in uh, Anagram, it's a very different ending. So watch out for the ending; it's so different in real life. And what's the reason for the three countries fighting for an island? What's the basis on that? Uh, in real life, there's a lot of oil in those islands, so they have to fight for resources. Oh, I see. Okay. And then China gets involved. And of course, you got to read the book and uh, find out uh, what happened afterwards. So it sounds like three countries are fighting for an island, but then you got a bigger country that just goes in and takes over. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, in real life, uh, that's, that's how it looks like. But in the book, they have to read it because comparing to real life, uh, those countries in the book are very nice to each other mm-hmm. comparing to real life. So sometimes I ask myself, I hope in real life they turn out to be in the book. It's much better in the book than mm-hmm. in real life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, un- that's interesting as well, too. And what influenced you into writing your first book, Anagram? I really invest in the Philippines because I love my home country so much. Uh huh. And uh, what was the one moment influenced you into um, you know writing per se before you started Anagram? Oh, uh, when I was reading books. So when I was reading books, I said to myself, "What if I can write my own book?" So my first inspiration is by reading books. Mm-hmm. And uh, who, are you, who are some of your favorite writers back in the Philippines? And also, who are some of your favorite writers and authors here in the United States? Sadly, I don't have any favorite authors in the Philippines, but here in America, I love Dan Brown and Mitch Album. They're, like, awesome. I love them. Mm-hmm. And uh, what do they write? Uh, uh, Dan Brown uh, writes about thrillers, stories, like um, the Robin Landon stories. Have you watched um, The Vinci Code and The Angels and Demons? He wrote that, and... Um, on Mitch Iwell, it's more like an inspirational story. Wow, okay. I haven't seen those two you mentioned, but I know some people that have um, watched those two as well, too. And, of course, um, I have to go back to them, um, you know, giving opinions and everything else. You know, I'll have to watch it sometime and get, give us some thought as well, too. And uh, where's You the- should. Yeah, you should. I mean, you're going to love um, Angels and Demons, really. It's about, you know, Catholicism, so you're going to love it. A lot of action. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that it sounds like it, too. And what, what are some of your favorite TV shows uh, growing up? Wow. I actually don't know. Uh, I don't know any TV series, but I actually watched a couple of episodes of Game of Thrones. That's one thing. And in the Philippines, not so much. They're in a Tagalog show, but I love, you know, Pangako. So I think it's a nice show. Mm-hmm. It sounds like you got a pretty good start as well, too. Do a little writing, imagination, and, um, and, and of course, whatever else. We'll talk about um, a little bit more what you do, and especially about uh, time travel. You listen to The Mike Wagner Show at the themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3990. That's 1-800-303-3960 or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the Mike Wagner Show. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, and also on iTunes, Google, Play, and Apple. You can also take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device and subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel as well. We're here with Las Vegas resident and born and raised in the Philippines, Roxanne San Jose, the author of Time Travel from the Avid Second Chance Bundle, now available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, and Smashwords. She also had a self-published first book called Anagram in 2015 about three countries fighting for an island, which it seems to be taking place in reality, but it's a little bit of a twist. And um, she encouraged, we encourage you to um, go and buy the book. And let's talk about... Uh, 
time travel as well, too. Avid Second Chances Bundle. And um, let's um, find out, um, tell us about the book and uh, why about time travel. Sure. Uh, time travel is a YM science romance novel about Angelie Thompson who invented a time machine, but unfortunately her boyfriend travels back in time accidentally and it's up to her to find him. And in the story, there's a lot of conflict uh, between the real, the other relationship of the, of the boy and she ended up changing the world. A lot of truth there. Wow. Okay. And how do you end up uh, getting transported back to 1970? That they have to find out, but the boyfriend accidentally travels back, so they have to find out why. <laughs> what did you do? Press buttons? Press a lever or something? Or just <laughs> set some tiles or what? <laughs> oh, probably, yeah. The, the, uh, John Travolta the press something. Very clumsy boy. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, you know, you know, I was going to ask as well too. Um, you know, being in 1970, you know, times were obviously different. And um, and if you were to go in a time machine, where would you go? Oh, probably in the 90s because I enjoy my time with my cousins and my grandmother in the Philippines. Definitely in the 90s, and I also love the songs in the 90s mm. compared to the today. No offense, but I enjoy you know songs in the 90s. Mm-hmm. And, and what are some of your favorite songs and singers back in the 90s, especially in the Philippines? Uh, internationally, it's Beth Midler and like Celine Dion. I love their inspirational songs. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And, and, and also, too, um, you, you know, how about, um, like, like, say, you know, some of your favorite moments, you know, you know, what happened back in the 90s as well, too, were some of the headlines you, you uh, witnessed in the Philippines? Uh, hmm. Probably just a new, I remember when I was very young, my parents were campaigning for a president. I remember, you know, watching them vote for that. I think the Philippine ele- election was uh, a head turner for me since I was very little. And um, the, politi- the political aspect in the Philippines, actually. Mm-hmm. And, and I'm trying to remember who it was back then. Was it uh, Imelda Marcos uh, back then? Or who oh, yeah, in the, the people powered uh, in the 60s, actually. Okay, I was just, I, I was trying to remember who it was, because I remember, uh, was it, uh, it was Marcos, I think it was the yeah, lady that owned, yeah, like, so many yeah. shoes. It was, like, the biggest joke of all. Remember the Marcos, yeah, I yeah. Yes, that's right. And of course, everybody's like, she's got so many shoes. What are we going to do with them? So, <laughs> of course, you know, she probably just um, go back as well, too. And um, of course, you know, John just um, starts his own time as well, too. And, um, you know, just running to new love. And um, also, you think about time travel. Do you think time travel could be possible today? I'm sorry? Do you? Do- you know, you know, considering that you wrote the book, like you know, John goes back to the nineteen seventy, and um, and uh, Angeline just um, goes through like different time zones, you know, just to uh, find her lover. And um, and of course, if you were hopping in the time machine, would you go back to nineteen seventy? Let's say try to find your boyfriend, or would you like say jump in the future and uh, find out, um, you know, about him, what's he turned into, or maybe end up discovering something else? I'll probably go back in time because, you know, if I have a boyfriend and I love him so much, I do everything to find him. So definitely go back in 1970. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, it was also a pretty good year back then, too. So um, so we'll talk um, you know, a little more about the book and uh, where we can find your books and a couple other things. You listen to The Mike Wagner Show at the themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without break your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today at 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 10% off your first order. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on themikewagnershow.com. You can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash themikewagnershow. You can download and listen on Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, Radio Public, and iTunes, Google Play, and Apple. You can check out The Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe and take The Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. We're here with author Roxanne San Jose, the author of Time Travel, the avid second chance bundle, now available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, and Smashwords. She self, self-published her first book, Anagram, in 2015. And I wasn't sure if I touched upon the subject, what was the one precise moment that got you into writing? 
Uh, by uh, by reading books because I you know through reading books I was able to say to myself what if if I can write more so by reading books definitely and um, this is something I wanted to do mm-hmm. so that's a plus. Okay, and uh, did you manage to self teach yourself how to write, or did you get like teachers, professors, or? online uh, videos or take classes and um you know was it was it self-taught or did you have somebody help you to write a book uh, self-taught um i studied how to write a book watch videos on how to write a book and how to search for an editor to help me with my book so mm. self-taught that, that was amazing too and what was the moment Thank that you. and what was the one moment that influenced you into uh time travel i mean um you know what's the moment that uh, got you so fascinated into it by being creative, because for me, being creative makes the story stand out. So whatever I think is right for the story and what I think is creative in my head, I just wrote it down. Mm-hmm. And also, do you have another book in the work as well, too? Or do you have any other projects? Or do you see your books maybe going on the big screen or audiobooks or anything like that? I'm working on my third book, which is a romance novel. Ah, romance now, and you just started. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and, and, and have you come up with a title yet? Uh, no, I'm just uh, finishing the story. Then the ti- the title comes afterwards. Mm-hmm. Now, now, do, now, with all the themes that you have, like with um, Anagram, you talked about three countries fighting for an island. You experienced that somewhat in real life, and of course, you had time travel. Talking about um, Angeline and her boyfriend John, and. Um, and, and, of course, you know, did you happen to uh, base these on your own experiences, like relationships, what you saw in the news? Or did you get off, like, say, with the um, the social media, the press, or, again, was it uh, in your imagination? Uh, the first book is definitely real life. The second and my incoming third book, which I hope to publish, uh, it just came from my creat- creativity and my imagination. Mm, that. <laughs> That that is amazing too. And uh, what do you consider your favorite project, and what's the most challenging? Um, my favorite project is definitely time travel because it's a traditional publisher. I was able to get help. And um, what's the most challenging about it from all the the books is um editing because I have to redo everything and those those stuff that I have to find an editor that it also has a cheap price to ha- to help me with my book. So definitely editing. Oh, wow. So you had to shop your own editor or did you have uh, an editor in mind you, you worked with? I, I have to shop on an editor and I have to make sure it fits my budget because, you know, a lot of editors, ha- uh, they quote you about $1,700 and I was like, no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you know what? If there's any editors out there that can help out with um, Roxanne's book, she'll um, tell you how to get in touch with uh, her later on. And what do you consider your most memorable moment? Getting a publishing contract. I mean, no words can explain how much that feels. Getting, <laughs> getting the contract. <laughs> That is amazing. It sounds like you made your mom and dad and everybody proud in the Philippines, and they're probably going to be having a a big uh, party or parade for you when you get back or visit. <laughs> <laughs> but I did get a lot, a lot of grat- congratulations from my relatives here and also in the Philippines, so that's a plus. And um, thank you. I, because of it, I, I get the chance to get to know you and your show. That is amazing as well, too, and I'm so glad that you um got in t- contact and ready to, r- to read your book. My wife's in the time travel. Travel and um, you know she wrote similar as well too, and we'll talk a little about oh, that. Oh, that's so cute! And, and, and of course, we'll talk about that off the air as well too. And uh, just a couple of things: we know you're very busy with a pen, and I can see you just writing things down, talking, writing things, and um, you know, talking to your relatives, whatever, writing things and doing whatever. Who do you consider big and some influence in your career? Um, the thing. Uh my passion for for um for writing and my parents because without my parents and my passion this won't happen without my parents i probably won't get nice comments or them driving me to my events and without my passion even this book will never exist in the first place that is amazing too and uh, what's the best advice you can give at this point uh, to anyone who wanted to write or just anyone in life, um, just work hard and be passionate about it. Because without hard work, uh, you will not get to the places you want it to be. And uh, without passion, 
you're just going to leave your project behind. Mm -hmm. And that's really good advice, too. And uh, once again, author Roxanne San Jose of Time Travel, Avid Second Chance Bundle. You've been uh, really fantastic. Thank you very much for your time. And, of course, looking forward to having you again soon. Talk about your third book. Once again, what's your upcoming projects? What's your website? How do people contact you? And also, where can they purchase your books? Okay, uh, they can contact me at, at my social media. Just go to Facebook, type Roxanne San Jose on Twitter. is SJ Roxanne on Instagram. is Roxanne underscore San Jose. And my website is kind of long. Just type uh, Roxanne San Jose dot website dot com slash Roxanne San Jose. And um, they can purchase Pine Table on Amazon, Bondo, Kobo, and Mashword online. That is amazing, too. And Roxanne, just want to say a big thank you for your time and look forward to having you on again soon. Of course, you know, going from the Philippines to Las Vegas, welcome to America. And looking forward to having you on again soon. And do us a favor, keep us up to date. Okay, thank you so much, Mike and everyone. You guys are so awesome. And more power to you, Mike, and your, and your show. Thanks for listening to the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Listen online at themikewagnershow.com and on Facebook, SoundClub, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. And watch the interview on YouTube. Also, become a sponsor of the program and or donate today at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again tomorrow for another episode of the Mike Wagner Show.